What is up YouTube? It is Hollywood Floss, the worst producer of all time. Back with another video. In today's video, we got Kempler Part 2. Um, just minor upgrades and I'm continuing the series of because y'all want to know what's the best MIDI generator, what's the best core generator, what's the best AI. So this is just a long list of videos we have created to help you out. But before we go any further, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you get any video I upload to the channel. You can follow me on Instagram at HWFloss or shop with me at HollywoodFloss.BeatStars.com. We've got like two days left in the summer madness sale. We'll show that at the end of the video. Okay, let's get right into it. Kempler 2. Just like other chord progressions, this one's more simple though. Okay, this one's not too hard to figure out. Hey, put it in a scale, whichever one you want. Let's use C minor, all right? The minor keys will be like purple, kind of like the major keys will be in turquoise in this scale. And then the gray is kind of like, you can go either way, kind of like a, um, a sustain or um, a, um, a diminished type of chord, okay? So they also have voicings. You can do different voicings when you get it, but let's just go do a simple, simple task. We want four bars. And I like that you can hear it as you're creating. I love that. So you can go right to a sustain or you go. So now you have a four bar chord progression. Okay. If you can highlight each one to move over, you can do it by one or you can do it by the whole chord progression. All right. Uh oh. Or you can do it by the whole chord progression. Alright. So we're going to take the chords and move them over to heat up three. Just pick like some keys. That way we, we good to go. And if you don't want to hear this, you can... Okay, and then you can go back into Kempler 2. That's just that simple to create a chord progression. Use your ears. You got to use your ears mostly for this type of um, chord generator. All right. And then with the voicings, you can always change your voicings. It, it highlights where you need to be. All right. The dark one means you're out of scale. The highlighted ones means that you're in scale. Okay. So let's say if you wanted to do a new track and then you just want to do a chord progression. You just highlight along those lines. Or melody on the chord progression, I'm sorry. So let's see how that plays. Okay, so now you can start adding on chord, um, not chord progression, melodies inside what you're doing, okay? And this is big right here because you have the MIDI out to use another plug-in and you have built-in chord, um, you have built-in instruments. So now you can get sounds going. So let's mute this and let's create. So I just create a new track and then you can just go in and Clone that should have the same sound, and let's see. 
So now you have the the chord and now you have the melody. So let's listen to that. And that's just all from Kempler adding a new track. Oh, mute everything. <laughs> Okay, so let's cut this, cut, uh, cut this. Let's start from the beginning. We started with the chords. We're gonna get rid of all of these. Delete, delete. We're gonna pick a new scale. I like to show you multiple ways that I use it, or multiple ways of the same thing, just so you get it. So we in F minor now. You have all the Fs that you can start with. The purple ones are in key or in minor. So you just listen to a good chord progression, play around with it. And then you can spread that out. So that's a chord progression right there. Use the full chord progression, put it in heat up three, then add a new track. You can mute if you like, if you don't, it doesn't matter. Then you can start playing with how you want it to sound I'm just and then you can change how the sound goes whatever all right and then you just drag it over you see how it goes that's the that's the melody here's a chord with the melody So this is more of a simple, easy to use. I wouldn't say it's that dynamic, but they're trying and it's getting better a little bit, um, little bit by little bit. They're doing these updates so you can see what you get out of Kemp. I like it just because of its straightforwardness and it makes you use your ears. A lot of people don't trust their ears. Like if something's out of scale or something that like they can't hear that, it's like, oh, don't, it's just, they're just going with it just because they did it. I like this one because it pressures you to really listen to does this sound good? See, it didn't really sound good to me going in, in that order. So it, it makes you really go in and say, okay, I want this. That sounds pleasing, you know what I mean? So you have to go in and use that. But other than that, here's some other things. It has chord relations, uh, match against the notes. You can either highlight that or take it off if you want to. You can change this as well. If you're on R, you can add new tracks to create more melodies. And you, I like the way you can tr change it because you see exactly where the ghost notes are, just like in FL Studio. And you can just say, okay, I know this note is going to sound good because it's with the chord. You know what I mean? A lot of times uh, people don't know what that means. Well, if you're in a chord and you got a note going right with the chord, it's going to sound pretty good. You're not going to be out of key. So that helps. And of course, if you're not good with seeing the actual letters, then you can go to the uh, notation, the Roman numeral notation. All right. It's your boy Hollywood Floss. It's Kempler 2. Little updates, like I say, mostly with the voicing and the colors. You know, it used to be black and pink, I believe. Black, pink, and green. Now it's like a little vibrant blue. So they're trying, all right. They're gonna, and it's so simple to use. I think you can use this on an iPad and teach your uh your nephew your son daughter whatever or someone who doesn't know about this so let me think let me know what you think in the comments below about kempler 2 hit the like and subscribe button i appreciate you guys thank you for watching don't forget to shop at hollywoodfloss.bstars.com let me show you come here sound kits and do you have the black friday so i'm gonna keep this one up eight kits for 49.99 but the new one where's the new one at summer madness sale 
it's ending shortly four kits for 29.99 any of these kits as you can see it's worth it you buy you put together 15 15 15 15 at 60 bucks you're getting it for half off so and uh, we got plenty of scalar 2 kits bricks drum midi another scalar 2 so this is the one that people sleep on that frank ocean but you know y'all don't know about that anyways hit the like and subscribe button i appreciate you thank you thank you thank you